How are you feeling? How has it been so far? Yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling quite healthy. And uh, since the day I got vaccinated, I did not face any issues at all. So I'm in perfectly healthy. So you were in part of phase three, yeah? Phase two, you had the vaccine when in, in, in the, a month ago, more or less. Yes, yeah, so, so they are doing phase two, phase three at the same time because it's a fast-tracked one. Uh, so they are uh, vaccinating almost more than 10,000 people in this phase. Uh, from what I have heard, already five, 6,000 people have been vaccinated and I am part of that. So I got my vaccination on the 13th of June, which is almost a month ago. And I did not face any side effects, uh, not even like, you know, fever or sore arm or any chills. Uh, which actually I was expecting, but that did not happen. Especially since, maybe in the first week. Yeah, in the first week, only in the first week. But uh, beyond that, nothing has happened. I'm living a perfectly healthy life and I'm doing my normal stuff. Um, were, were you told why, you, why you, were, you were given a double dosage, no, you think? Yes, so I'm part of the group six, uh, where they give uh, a stronger dose uh, as compared to group four. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how much is that dose or something, but they mentioned that it's going to be a stronger dose. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, but, but uh, since then I have been quite okay. So as far as you can feel and you can think, is the vaccine is working. Yeah. I think so and I hope it is working because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, because every week we have to do the COVID testing and send them the report. And, uh, and you so get the far, results. Yeah, and so I have to do so the swab far? test myself and I have to send the results and they send the, uh, you know, uh, test report uh, in the next day. So, um, I mean, in the past four weeks, it's all came negative. And um, so nothing has changed in my life. I'm doing the normal stuff that I used to do. So, and so far it, it has gone well. You're naturally exposed to the virus. You're doing your normal life. Now things are opening up. So we move in a bit more. Yes, so I mean, we are always at risk of, you know, getting the virus if you are out or, you know, going to the supermarket or going out for a walk or a run, you never know. Uh, so, I mean, if, if you get transmitted and, you know, you, you, your body has generated those antibodies, then definitely, you know, you will not get infected, which means it is working. So the fact that you didn't have any symptom for the first week, you had to fill a daily form. Yes. And then you have to do your weekly, weekly uh, COVID your weekly test. Slab, then it came negative. It, the, re, the results are promising. What, what's the next step? What's the next, uh, the next few steps? So the study will go on for a while. So we, I have to again visit them after uh, the three month time frame, three months, six months. Uh, but I think the people who got vaccinated in the first uh, lot, which is in April, they will have their six month study, uh, you know, coming out in maybe September, October. And that's when you will ex uh, exactly know how effective it is. Because I think uh, the phase one is more about establishing safety. And then they also look at how effective it is going to be to uh, against COVID-19. The, the general feeling is that it's working yeah. and that it will work. They work in the monkeys, it's working in humans all over different places, people in different circumstances, different health. And it's a question of time. Yes. To be really certified that it's working. Yes, yes. And that's the reason they are trying to find as many volunteers as they can so that you test it out uh, with, you know, thousands of people. And if it is working, there's no reason why it will not work on a larger sample. So I think if this is successful, very soon we can see a vaccine in the market. In the next can, couple of months, we, yeah. we should have the, 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 the results uh, and they, they seem to be positive. In Oxford, they're still optimistic and, and they, yes. they, uh, they, they're very hopeful about the results. Yeah, we are all very optimistic. We trust our researchers and uh, we are, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, this is going to work and uh, this is going to be the first vaccine that might come out uh, and reach out to the billions of people across the world. When we went to Oxford in April, they said there is, a, there is a light at the end of a tunnel. And every time we come back, that light is getting closer. Can we just say to the people that that light is coming closer, the, le the light, the hope at the end of, the, of this nightmare is, is getting closer? Definitely, I must say that, you know, we are uh, very close to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and we are inching closer to success. So let's hope that, you know, in the next few months we get the breakthrough and the commercial vaccine is out.